the Camaro came back from the dead in 2010 with GM's fifth gen Camaro that had either a V6 or a V8 engine, making 312 horsepower all the way up to 580 horsepower with its ZL1 model and its 6.2 liter V8. Although these cars are GM with their reliable V6 and LS engines, they do come with their fair share of issues that should be known before you make that purchase. Today, I'm going over common issues in the 5th gen Camaro from 2010 to 2015 that you should know about just so you are better educated about your own ride or about your purchase. So let's get started. Coolant leaking from the rear of the engine on the V6 models. The main culprit is a thermostat housing gasket. It is relatively easy and cheap to fix. So while you are in there, I would also recommend installing a new thermostat since those are also cheap to replace. It may be a tight squeeze for your tools, but it can definitely be done. Be sure the car is cool before you attempt this job. Shuttering steering wheel at high speeds. This is a very common issue throughout the entire generation. The best fix that I have found after strolling through many, many forums is that you will need to static balance the tires and that should fix the issue. Now, if you feel vibrations during your braking, when you press the brake pedal, then it's probably due to warped rotors or faulty calibers. Trunk not opening with a key fob or the button in the car. What is the problem? Well, the wiring to pop the trunk gets stuck and pinched when you shut the trunk and ultimately that will start fraying the wires. The fix you may ask, well, new wires. Unplug the battery and add new wires. That's it. Cheap paint that can easily chip off from rocks. This seems to be a very common complaint and it's sad that Chevy just could not spray on high quality paint to prevent the chips. Broken lug nut bolts. There are a lot of people who have to constantly replace them because they aren't using high quality replacements. Since you have to replace one, you should go ahead and replace the rest of them on that wheel. When you replace these by high end lug nut bolts, and when you install the tire, be sure to use proper Turk specs and high quality lug nuts. On the SS model, the high mount third brake light works intermittently and ultimately stops working. This is a dealer part costing about $200 or you could jerry-rig your own if you have the know-how. Doing this job requires you to remove the rear seat, upper and lower quarter trim panels, and finally the upper rear window trim panel. If you have the time, removing the panels can be somewhat straightforward, but take your time to make sure you won't break any of the plastics. Stalling and or low engine idle. There are many different causes, but most of the cases is due to a dirty throttle body. All you have to do is clean it up and you're good to go. Cheap and easy fix. One dude on YouTube said that he had his torque converter replaced for some reason because the mechanic said that that was a problem. So do not be like him. Do the easy fix first, then start tackling the harder jobs. Check engine light due to a loose gas cap, which is actually pretty common. Just make sure the gas cap is tight every time you fill it up. Finally, there is also a coolant leak in the V8 model as well. The leak service bulletin PIP4735D states that it's from the driver's side going into the engine cooler. The main fix is to replace the gasket. All you have to know is lefty loosey and righty tidy and how to jack up a car properly with jack stands. This should be a doable job for a novice. So really all the common issues on these cars can be fixed on your own with enough YouTube videos. Well, besides, you know, the chipping paint. These Camaros are very reliable and there are multiple owners who drive these cars hard on the mountain roads with 160,000 miles. If these cars are cared for, they will last over 200,000 miles. If you learned something and this helped you out, be sure to press that like button, subscribe, 
and press the notification bell to keep up to date with my future content. This is Chris Automotivate. Always appreciate one another, and I'll see you next time.